We talk about getting seasick from this market's action, but tonight's guests live and breathe the real torrent of the high seas. Captain Sig Hansen of the Northwestern and the Wizards' Captain Keith Colburn. You know them from Discovery's deadliest catch. What you may not realize is the risky investment they make each time they set out and how much of their livelihood depends on not just the catch, but how the economy is doing. Bet you didn't think about that over this weekend when you were dipping those crab legs in some butter over at Red Lobster, especially because seafood is 30 percent of its food costs and it's only hedged on about half of it. Captain Sig Hansen and Captain Keith Colburn, welcome to Mad Money. How are you? Good, Good to see Thanks. you guys. How you Good. been? Good. All right. You're starting the new season. It's obvious that this is the, and I've been on, other than Mr. Trump, whose reality show is real, that we all know that reality shows, for the most part, are staged. Uh, when I watch your show, I don't get the sense that there's a lot of staging. Am I right that this is a little different from the usual reality show? Well, it, it was started as a documentary, and that's what it is. Right. So yeah. these guys, and, and then people get hurt. People actually, things happen. Not everything's good, there's, right? There's too much going on to even really remember that the cameras are even there. I mean, we're just, we're, dry, we're trying to fish. Absolutely. All right. Now, uh, Sig, th- we have loved the stock of Darden. And the reason we love it is because Red Lobster has been unbelievably good. It's actually been on fire since the year began. Olive Garden doing well, too. And the reason is, is because it is an inexpensive place to eat, particularly for delicacies like what you what you catch. Uh, a half pound of, lo- of, of king crab is a doll is nine dollars and ninety nine cents. How is that possible, given what you guys do? Well, I mean, that's a bargain to begin with right there. But how there, is but it? I mean, what else? You get so, in. You know, well, it's, a, it's a misconception. Everybody okay. thinks that there's white tablecloth, premium, yeah. crab is, is out of reach. Right. But in reality, Red Lobster makes it within reach, sure. um, and, and it's because of the prices we get at the dock. I mean, we're getting paid good money. We'd like to get more, obviously. Well, and eat more crab. And eat more crab. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. But, now, when I also look at uh, on bulk, five pounds is two. You can go to the website. They have one of your ads. Is $159. And I'm starting to think, is it possible you could go a whole season without making any money? Yeah, for us, of course. Right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We've gone. I've gone two months, and we went three thousand dollars in the hole for each crew member. Right. And what yours? Uh, well, in the clip that we ran, there's four. Uh, one of your, yours is four hundred thousand dollars per. Uh, what if you go to Red Lobster and you say, "Listen, guys, this is a tough year for me. I want a better price." What happens? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they say, oh, yeah, Keith, we're going to help you out on this one. Uh, well, actually, we're, we're selling directly to the processors in Dutch Harbor, and then there, then it's moving through to the Red Lobsters of the world. So no, we're, we're not so in We're not, we're not in direct thing. sales. No, we're just fishermen. But what I, one of the things that I've found is, is that it's cheaper this year than last year. How can it be? Is it just a more bountiful harvest for you guys? We're, we're really, really lucky. What happened was in the fall, right when the stock market completely exploded, a lot of the crab for king crab had been pre-sold. The deal was done. It was already done. So we okay. were saved there. Plus, the yen was phenomenally strong last fall. So a lot of your stuff goes yeah. to Japan. A lot goes well, to Japan. And, yeah, so they're the ones that drive that market. But, yeah. I mean, we want to see the domestic market strong as well. And that's yeah. where, you know, Darden comes in. And Yeah. Well, how can you hedge? I mean, Darden says they're, half, they're hedged on half their crab. How can you? What kind of market do you have? <sighs> well... I don't know. All right, it's, someone's, it's, betting it's, against, it's, someone's betting against you if you're hedged for half. Well, they're, they're, they're not they're betting, a good season. Our snow crab, we're basically what it is, is we have a competitor. Right. Our competitor is Canada. Wow. And Canada okay. has twice to three times the amount of product we have. So they're the big, big dog on the block. But we're the first crab to market. So we have an advantage there. But it, it, is, an expensive, it is an expensive thing to eat. So in a downturn... Do you expect to be able to have to sell less or settle for a lower price? I think we'll have to sell less. Uh, you know, that's, that's a tough question. I mean, and this year we're seeing it. We saw, yeah. what, 25, maybe close to 28% uh, reduction in our prices for snow crab this year. And, and who and, knows what it's going to be in the fall. And if Japan doesn't step in for next year, you know, then we've got no leverage. So. Right. Yeah, there you go. What's the economics of the show? Discovery happens to be one of the few 
uh, cable, well, cable's doing much better than broadcast. And Discovery happens to be very, very successful. Do they pay you to do the show, or are they just along for the ride, and it's good publicity for you guys? Well, they, no. They've been throwing a couple of bucks at us, you know. And it's, do you own it's the show? <laughs> you know, I wish. <laughs> yeah, we, but, you know, I mean, they make it We'd be on big money yeah. instead of mad money. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys playing at all? Do you play a stock market? you need a little uh, diversification? <laughs> How can you play? You're, like, out for 30 hours. Hours a day. You don't. You're not watching CNBC when you're watching when you're out there. Right? No, Nothing. we're not. And that's the thing is, I mean, as fishermen, basically, we reinvest in our own business. Yeah. We're right. investing in ourselves, and that's what we're doing. I mean, and the fisheries are like this. I, just one, one last question: Is in a downturn, do you guys make say dramatically less than you would have in another time? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's so you're, you're the front lines of the economy in the sense that you are the ultimate discretionary thing to eat. Sure. Yeah, we're a commodity. We're a food product. Right. Wow. Okay. So. Well, Captain Keith. Thank you. Captain Sig. Right. Pleasure to All meet right. you. Okay, guys, listen. You can catch Captain Sig Hansen and Captain Keith Colburn and the rest of the cast of The Deadliest Catch when it, Season 5 premieres Tuesday, April 14th at 9 p.m. Eastern on the Discovery Channel. Man, back is, man, money is right back after the break. Thank you, guys.